there's no rest for the wicked because once they finish with the series, it's just in a few days' time that they head across the Atlantic to take on the West Indies. May not be in the best vein of form. Uh, maybe a lovely place to visit, but again, it's going to be serious cricket. Three ODIs, five T20Is. It all begins in Port of Spain, moves on to uh, Warner Park and St Kitts, and then back to the United States of America to Florida to finish off the series on the sixth and seventh of August. So, again, yes, we are talking about a year of a T20 World Cup, Zaheer, but uh, still enough of ODI cricket combined with T20 cricket to be played in different conditions, different parts of the world. Well, I think uh, it's 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 a balanced uh, approach uh, because you you do have uh, the World Cup, the 50 over uh, World Cup in uh, in 2023. Uh, so so from that point of view, uh, you need to be in touch with the games. uh you need to just identify the personnel you need to uh, have have a process defined around that as well even though it's 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 about a year and a half away you know you you still uh, need those building blocks in place i think though so that's the uh, that's the endeavor by uh, by looking at the scheduling uh, which is uh, which is a good one uh, t20 of course you know the, the more you play uh better understanding of each and everyone's role uh, you're going to have better understanding of your uh, team selection you uh, you're going to have so from that point of view if if you see uh, look at the squad as well uh the the key players are, have uh, have rested for this uh, this, this tournament so, uh, so so that itself uh, shows that that you want uh, you want the the uh, the bench strength to be exposed to the pressure situations so there is there is nothing better than than match uh, match scenario match practice and uh, and uh, how uh, individuals are responding to their roles responsibilities and also the pressure of international cricket uh, so that's the thought process behind uh, i'm uh, i'm sure uh, uh, shikhar dhawan like how you've seen in the uh, in the sri lanka series is is going to uh, carry on from uh, from there on the whole the whole uh, dna of the team is very well defined you know so so you you have these uh, different squads going to uh, to different countries and playing different series uh, but if you look at the style of play uh, that has uh, that has remained uh, the same uh, and the approach has has remained the same and uh, and uh, a lot of credit uh, needs needs to go to uh, to bcci also for that to, for creating that kind of a channel like like you've seen uh, rahul dravid now uh, coming and taking uh, taking charge of of the indian team but you also have uh, vvs lakshman who is uh, director of cricket at nca uh, who was uh, who was uh, coaching the ireland team uh, the the indian team which went to ireland uh, so uh, so so basically that that shows that there is a process in place and uh, and and the rule book or or the uh, the the process uh, template is is followed uh, for uh, for everyone uh, to uh, to fall in line with so i think you know that's uh, that's something which uh, which will definitely help uh, help indian cricket going forward as well yeah i think we'll bring that squad up joy just to have a look at the, all those names that are missing in terms of uh, rohit sharma virat kohli of course jaspreet bumrah rishabh pant but it just shows we talked about bench strength in bowling earlier it look at the bench strength up front in terms of the top order of course wicket keeping bench strength we know is there always and the bowlers so even from here it's not that you can just blindfoldedly pick an 11 there's still going to be guys left out there who will provide you the bench strength within the bench strength no absolutely that's what you're looking at i'm just looking at i mean think of a batting order without rohit sharma without virat kohli without rishabh pant without kl rahul okay all four are first team regulars and without hardik pandya and without hardik pandya and still looking that strong the bowling just look at the bowling I and mean, this is comparatively i mean though there's no bumra there's no shami this i mean you look at it there this is the the fast bowling attack is literally your new fast bowling attack siraj only shardul is the only name there who's ever siraj prasid avesh arshdeep these it's a completely it's a very very newer attack siraj who's barely 2 years old is the sort of leader of this attack and that's i think it just shows you how much indian cricket has moved forward yeah i mean uh, zaid you would be uh, it would be a pain to try and pick in 11 straight off from there Uh, I think you can you you can follow a template and and figure out you know so so Hardik is not there so Shardul will be will be part of that playing eleven uh, you'll see Siraj uh, being part of that uh, that playing eleven you'll have Prasad Krishna continuing uh, f- from here and uh, it will be between Avesh Khan and uh, Ashdi 
Uh, so, so that is going to form uh, your uh, your fast bowling unit, and uh, you'll have uh, Jadeja and uh, and Chahal uh, to uh, to start in that playing eleven. You know, so that is going to be the the template. Ruturaj Gaikwad will be opening with Shikhar Dhawan. Is is what I'm expecting. Uh, you'll have uh, Ishan Kishan or uh, Sanju Samson uh, between them. One uh, one will take part. Shreyas Iyer will uh, will get another opportunity uh, to uh, to to uh, get exposed to. uh the the international uh, national cricket and uh, and um, make use of uh, the the opportunity to to cement his place he's been he's he's one guy who's been traveling with the team so this is this is the this is the chance you know this is the time where you actually show that yes i'm ready and push the guy who is uh, who is ahead of you uh, so so all in all i think you know this squad is looking good and uh, and uh, you can uh, you can expect the similar similar sort of results as well from there because they've been very consistent Yeah, I think there used to be a jo- time joy when when maybe a full strength squad didn't go to a particular country the local board would almost put their hand up and say no 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 we we uh, we draw the crowds because we want to Virat Kohli to be there we want these superstars to be there I don't think anyone will be complaining anymore because they know that yeah of course Virat Kohli has a certain stature a certain stardom but if players who are as talented as the guys we've just seen in that Kohli less squad or Rohit less squad or Bumrah less squad uh nobody be complaining anymore no no absolutely and just a lot of players now thanks to how ubiquitous the ipl is all these players are ipl stars all of these people are players that they've seen on their television sets they're exciting new players in fact it's the reverse you know players like sanju samson and all they're really exciting top order ishan kishan sanju can be explosive players and you just don't see enough of them in international cricket so it's really going to be a treat not just for the indians back home but the spectators out there spectators in the united states of america to watch these guys live playing uh, this is an exciting young indian squad and it it they they take no prisoners again aggressive batting the kind of players that they picked even a player like rituraj if he gets in there he can really dominate a game uh this is a very very good squad yep well we uh, would normally have put up both the squads by now if we don't have the uh, it's not been announced the west, west indies odi squad but uh, we do expect that uh, they being on the wrong side of the result against a team like i mean no disrespect to bangladesh but certainly in the past west indies have managed to lord it over bangladesh but uh, have a look at the results from this latest tour uh, west indies starting off in the test matches of course doing really well the t20s as well it's their game but three odis in georgetown Bangladesh winning by 6 wickets 9 wickets and 4 wickets three simple well not simple three routine run chases for Bangladesh and I think for the West Indies they'll be taking their time in forming that ODI squad because it starts with the ODIs and they've got mighty India coming there so they'd want to turn things around very very quickly indeed